Hi everybody, what we have today is, well, another another very nice pen and what we've got here you'll recognise is a nice Waterman's fountain pen. Now this particular pen, there's some slight confusion because there was uh, similar pens in, in, in this particular region, so I actually believe this to be the Waterman's 352 Stalwart fountain pen. Now this particular one as you'll see in a moment is a Canadian made Waterman's fountain pen and as you can see it comes in this well it's a lever fountain pen again with this uh, spade lever here. If we show you the cap you can see it's got these two gold filled cap bands here and you can see the recognizable Waterman's clip there and to the top there we've got the the gold stud that uh, that holds the clip into into place now as I say this particular one is a Canadian made Waterman's if I show you the the imprint there you can see a nice clear imprint um, says Waterman's and then underneath made in Canada um, it comes in this lovely dark blue colour the size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel um, is approximately 128 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a nice chunky 12 millimeters in diameter. So, as you can see, it's it's quite a nice size pen. Um, the the confusion being is, as I say, this I believe to be the 352 stalwart, um, and again, it's a Canadian made. They, they also um, made one in the United States, a an American version, which I believe. Uh, just had one particular cap band as opposed to two on this one so I believe this one was actually made as I say in Canada for well they, they called it the Commonwealth version they, they, they launched it for the Commonwealth and I believe for the UK market as well um, so again some slight bits of confusion if I'm wrong I'm sure you people are going to tell me but let's take the cap off which as you can see unscrews um, if we give you a little bit of a twirl and show you the pen at different angles in lovely condition I've fully restored it, I've put a new sack in it etc so as you'll see in a moment it should be in full working order if we show you the section there you can see it comes in this black sort of uh, concave section slightly a little bit on the small side but no it works fine with me it's lovely grip on it and it, it's got this sort of lip, if you like, to the top of the section near the nib. Let's show you the nib. As with most Waterman pens, um, it's got the Waterman's nib. And on this particular one, it's got the Waterman's Ideal 14 carat. And then just below it there, it says Canada. So let's try and keep it nice and still for you. And I'm hoping you can actually see that nice and clear. Let's turn it over, you can see it's got the standard uh, Waterman's feed to the back there and if we give you a sort of sideways view a lovely nib and a quite a large nib as well it, it actually went in uh, into the section quite a lot so this is actually quite a large nib um, as I said it's um, a lever fill fountain pen it's, it's made in this blue celluloid um, we've, we've fully serviced it so it's as good time any now to test it and what we do we get the lever pull the lever up as far as it'll go like so dip the nib in the ink and pop the lever back into place just give it a little bit of a shake wipe it off with the tissue and let's bring on some some paper so what we have here is a a Waterman's as I say I believe this one being the 352 and the model name is what they term as a stalwart okay as I say a little bit of confusion because in this area there's as I said there's a couple of uh, different models but that's that's what I believe it to be, and if uh, if I'm wrong, I'm sure I'll get comments from people. 
The nib on this particular pen, as with a lot of uh, Waterman nibs, there's actually some flex to it. So on the downward stroke, we can get quite a thick, quite a thick line. And if we come down and do the figure of eights, and we've put pressure on the downward stroke, you can see we get a lovely variation. Look at that. What a lovely nib. Okay, so as with a lot of ideal nibs, lovely nib to write with, lots of, uh, well not lots, but there's some nice bits of flexibility on it. So let's pop the cap back on. So there we have it, the Waterman Stalwart 352 from around about the 1940s in absolutely superb condition, gorgeous pen and again not a small pen, a lovely lovely size okay so I hope you're happy with that so let's keep it nice and short there we go the Waterman's 352 Stalwart in this blue celluloid colour in lovely condition in full working order I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as always, as much as I enjoy showing them to you. Don't forget, there's lots and lots more videos on my channel. Go and have a look. Don't be shy. Leave a comment. But for now, I'll just say bye-bye now.